When you smell me, how do you feel? If you feel turned on and aroused, I got you. I got you right where I wanted you. Hello my loves, welcome back for another video. So many of you guys have been asking for a fall fragrance video. Today's the day I'm gonna be delivering fall 2023 scents you guys all need. I'm gonna get into it in a second, but I wanted to say before the video starts, these fragrances are definitely expensive. One thing about me, I'm giving you guys my real, actual, amazing fragrances that I wear all the time. They smell good, they last long, they're unique and different. They're not something that everyone has in their collection. They're very special to me and I collect. It's just something I do, so if you want to to pick up a fragrance, but maybe you're on a budget, save up for one fragrance in particular that is calling your name after I do this video. I'm gonna talk to you guys about where I wear these scents and how I wear them, the notes and everything in between and why I like them. So we're gonna get into it. You guys are gonna see a theme in the type of fragrances I like. I like a lot of woodsy fragrance, musk, gourmand, vanillas, amber, jasmine. Those are my scents, like obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Take it from a girl who gets text messages like this. I know what I'm talking about, okay? I know what's gonna have you smelling good. I will never play you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you guys like these types of videos from me and follow me on Instagram. Now let's just get into my fall fragrances. First fragrance you guys are all going to need in your collection is Fresh Couture by Moschino. This is the gold one. This smells so peppery to me. It's giving pepper, it's giving fruity, it's giving florals. It is so beautiful. This is one of my favorite daytime fragrances and sometimes I'll even wear this in the evening, but I'll mix it with something. It smells so peppery. Like I've never had a peppery fragrance like this before. It's just very strong. It lasts long. It's beautiful. So it has top notes of white peach, mango, pear, mandarin orange, and grapefruit. And the heart is charming with notes from orchid, lily of the valley, and jasmine. I love jasmine. It just smells so good. This particular fragrance is unique. It's special. It's sexy. It's going to give you that sensual vibe, but it's a perfect daytime fragrance in my opinion. Now this is a fragrance that you guys probably all know about, but I have to talk about it in fall fragrances because this is something that I wear almost every single day of my life. It's the Maison Francis Courtesan Baccarat Rouge 540, the red bottle. This one to me smells more sweet almond like. The other one just has a different type of smell to me. This one is more sweeter. It's more almond. It smells so good. This is my go-to mix fragrance. I will mix this with anything and everything and it will always bring out the sexiness, the sensualness, and the sweetness to a beautiful night out. I'm obsessed with MFK. All of his fragrances are to die for, but this one in particular is going to be my go-to for the fall. I'm gonna mix it with all of the ones that I'm gonna be showing you guys. It's just so gorgeous. It's so beautiful, it's sexy. There's never a time I go out and somebody doesn't stop me and says, what are you wearing? Babe, it's MFK of course. Like this is just so gorgeous. Of course, I'm going to read to you guys the notes of this particular fragrance. It has top notes of jasmine and saffron, heart notes of bitter almond and cedarwood, which you guys know I said it's more of like a sweet almond smell. And then the base notes are musky woody accord and ambergris accord. It is just so delicious. It's sexy. It kind of gives off an edible vibe. If you want to be eaten, baby. Baby. For all my, I'm going to Aspen this winter, you're going to love this by Rado Fragrance. It's called Super Cedar. It's woodsy, it's sexy, it's musky, it's day and night, it's unisex, it's just so delightful. It's giving rich girl in a cabin vibe. I'm obsessed. It's so fall, it's not even funny. Of course, I'm gonna read you the notes. Top notes are rose petals. Heart is Virginian cedar wood. The base is Haitian vetiver and silk musk. Oh, guys, it's just so good. It's musky, it's cedar. It's more of like a cedar. It says super cedar in the name, but it's really actually a cedar vibe. It's a luxurious woodsy smell. It's not going to give man that stinks outside lumberjack. It's more of an elevated luxurious Aspen Vale, Jackson Hole, Wyoming vibe. Like you guys are going to love this. It's so good for my girlies this winter and fall. I'm just obsessed. Again, another good mixing fragrance. If you want something that just kind of balances it out with sweetness, take the MFK Baccarat Rouge 540, put it with this and chef's kiss, babe, 10 out of 10. This is one of my new favorite fragrances of literally all time, Initio Paragon. Nothing in my collection smells like 
Paragon. I was put on by the girl at Neiman Marcus. This is a very expensive top dollar fragrance, but it's worth every penny because it is going to be a classic and staple in my collection forever. This particular fragrance has top notes of bergamot, white sage, and lavender, middle notes of plum, black pepper, it's a very peppery scent, and base notes of sandalwood and agar wood. It is so beautiful, it's luxurious, it's giving sensual. I actually went out recently and somebody stopped me and was like, oh my God, you smell so good. Like they did a full whiff test. I've never seen someone have like a full on, oh my God, it was so funny. And I'm like, oh, like, and I was trying to think of what I was wearing and then I realized I was wearing Initial Paragon and I should have known because a lot of the times I do mix my fragrances, which I did mix, but this was really what they were smelling and I knew it. So this particular fragrance will stop people. It's definitely for my girlies that are, wild like me and like to kind of step into a more masculine scent. I don't necessarily like super girly scents. And if I do, I'm gonna probably go for Juicy Couture because that is of course one of my old top favorite fragrances ever, Viva La Juicy. It's so good. That's the most girly I'll ever go. But this is giving wild child. I'm kind of giving a divine, very healthy masculine fragrance for a woman. So amazing. And of course it's unisex, just like all fragrances, but I wanted to let you know that if you are someone who is a blind buyer online, this is giving pepper and it's giving, hi, I'm a hot girl that wears all black leather to a club. So I saw a girl on TikTok talking about this months back. I screenshotted it, had it in my phone, went to it later on because I'll go to Neiman Marcus, kind of just go in there hoping that I'll find a fragrance and then I'll sometimes go through my screenshots because I know that majority of the time when I screenshot things, it's going to be fragrance. This is the Giorgi Armani Preve, the exclusive collection for Malachite. This right here is probably one of my favorite fragrances I've ever bought in my entire entire life. It is so expensive smelling. I mean, it smells like the sexiest, most beautiful, clean woman I've ever smelled in my life. This essentially is described as a jasmine and ylang ylang essence. I'm obsessed with jasmine. I'm obsessed with ylang ylang. It's revealing a sensual, unique signature and the fragrance keynotes are violet. This is just so unique. Nothing I've ever smelled is like this. It's definitely giving jasmine though. Like it's a jasmine fragrance for sure. Guys, like I've never loved something more. Like it's just, it's the perfect amount of sweet and sexy. It's so beautiful, great first date fragrance. Nobody's gonna know what you're wearing. You're going to get stopped wearing this every time. I know I do. And it's just something that I bathe in almost every day, especially now that fall's coming up. It's giving fall without it being too obvious that it's fall. Cause sometimes fall fragrances that are obvious would be something like super cedar cause it's woodsy. This is just giving, I smell good. It's giving Jasmine clean girl. I have two very beautiful dogs that just got groomed and they're wearing Hermes collars. I'm just saying. So fun fact, when I met my ex-boyfriend almost nine years ago, I wore Giorgi Armani C on our first date. He would talk about it for years later, like, oh my God, that perfume you wore, it would just sat with me, I was thinking about it, I loved it. Well, this one is just as great. This is the Giorgi Armani C Passion. It's a spinoff of C. It is so freaking good. I will read to you guys the notes, of course. Top notes of sparkling pear, heart notes are rose, base notes woody vanilla. It is the perfect girl fragrance for all of my ladies out there that want something that's perfect for an everyday wear. I love it so much. It lasts on the skin. It's beautiful. It has just a very gorgeous vibe with a hint of vanilla and it's sensual. Of course, all my fragrances for the most part are very sensual, sexy fragrances, which is usually why I reach for them because I want something that gives an experience. Like when you smell me, how do you feel? If you feel turned on and aroused, I got you. I got you right where I wanted you. And what I love is when I can do it to women and men. And of course, of course, of course. So love this fragrance so much. It's so beautiful. Anyone and everyone is going to like it. It's pretty much a universal fragrance that I think everyone will like. And it's a very affordable one in comparison to the other ones I've mentioned. I believe this is under $100. If you want to elevate your vanilla fragrances, this is the one to buy. This is the Byredo Vanille Antique. This has completely outdone my tobacco vanille that I have in my cabinet by Tom Ford. This is just so much better. What I love about this is it's the type of elevated vanilla scent that I've always needed in my collection. It's not giving sticky syrupy, it's giving sexy, beautiful, timeless, gorgeous, can be paired with literally anything. Of course, I'm going to read it to you. Keynotes, vanilla, cashmere wood, ceased, I believe, and musk. Here, the smoky scent of vanilla bean becomes charged with history and character, transforming into something unexpected, less syrupy, and more nuanced. 
literally what I just said. It's not giving little girl childlike vanilla scent. It's that elevated, classy, luxurious, beautiful one that can be mixed and paired with other things, or it can stand alone. I love this fragrance mix with Baccarat, of course. I'm just, oh my God, it's so beautiful. This particular fragrance is so stunning. It kind of is giving like jazz club vibes, not the actual fragrance jazz club, but the actual ambiance of a jazz club. It's giving cigar lounge. It just smells so good and beautiful and it's just so ugh, timeless, honestly. I was trying to think of a fragrance that could be worn every day in the fall that everyone would like. And I reached for the Clean Reserve Suede Oud. This is a musk fragrance. It smells so good. It's an everyday perfume. It can be spritzed like, I'm talking like this. You can really get into it and it will not affect you at all. It's so light, but it still kind of does its thing. It's musky, it's beautiful. Obviously it has the scent of suede. Top notes, incense oil, blue cypress, birch wood, honeysuckle, middle is temple oud, night blooming jasmine. You guys see I love jasmine. Dry down it has a soft suede, gold patchouli, black amber, skin musk type of fragrance. Every day you can wear this. I'm talking to the grocery store, to Target, to brunch, out with friends, to a park. It's something that is light and beautiful, but it's still giving fall it's still giving beautiful, it's still giving fabulous. And again, you can do this at night, I wouldn't suggest it, but let's just say you wanna do a light, kind of subtle scent for the evening, a great layering scent, and honestly alone, if you're just trying to give I smell good, but I'm not trying to kill you with my scent. And I saved the best for last, of course. This is Kirk by Tizania Terenzi. This fragrance, so I discovered it a while back when I was picking up Initio from Neiman Marcus. I was smelling the Tizania fragrances. I fell in love. There was this beautiful, like 6'4 Arab man walks in. He was decked out in the best outfit. He was wearing like a Rolex. He looked so sexy. And he comes over and he buys every fragrance from Tizania. Like I've never seen a man be so invested in picking up so many different fragrances. And he looked at me and he goes, this brand will always do it. I'm like, okay. So I'm asking him the price. He's telling me that they go up to like almost $1,200. I'm like, uh, gasp, no thanks. If you wanna get it for me though. <laughs> so anyways, fast forward, I go online to FragranceNet. I noticed that they had this discounted. It's Kirk. This particular fragrance has my entire life just flipped upside down. I've never loved a fragrance more. This is going to give sweet, sexy, nectar, gorgeous mommy, I want a husband vibe. Okay, let me read to you the notes of Kirk. It has top notes of passion fruit, raspberry, peach, pear, and a hint of sand. Middle notes of lily the valley, and the base notes are sandalwood, patchouli, musk, and a drizzle of vanilla. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. I picked this up for a very affordable price. It was discounted. If I can still find the discount, I'll leave it down below for you guys. I'm not going to steer you away, but you guys need to get on the Tizania fragrances. If you can get your man to buy it for you, get him to do it. If you can go get a little sample from Neiman Marcus, get yourself a sample. These fragrances are giving, I actually wear perfume, I actually know perfume, and I wanna smell good all day. This smells amazing, a lot of their fragrances do. I'm obsessed, they actually have one named after me called Haley, it smells amazing. But this is giving fall because I like peach in the fall, it just smells really good. And I have the transition from Bitter Peach Tom Ford, which is my summer fragrance, into this fragrance, which to me is a little bit more fall. I love it, I love it, I love it. Pick it up if you can. That was my fall fragrances. It was very difficult picking the ones back there that were my favorite, but I had to grab the ones that I knew that I grabbed the most and that I know I'm going to grab the most in the fall time. These are expensive, these are worth the investment. They are something that are going to be a part of your collection forever. So definitely choose wisely. Let me know down below which one is calling your name and also let me know down below if I didn't mention a fragrance that you guys think I should get on, let me know that as well because I'm always in the business of buying some new updated fragrances for my collection. I'm obsessed and I hope you guys are as well. Let me know any other video ideas you guys have for me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Mwah.